So you've fractured your scaphoid. If you fall over and land on your outstretched hand, you may experience some pain or some swelling, and it may be very short-lived, half a day, a few days, you call it a wrist sprain, you ignore it. Well, I'm going to explain to you that well, what I really want you to get is that if you've done that, you need a diagnosis because you may well have fractured a bone in your wrist, the scaphoid, or other bones, or damaged ligaments. So what happens when you do that? You see somebody that is an expert in hand and wrist, uh, and they'll examine your wrist. Then they'll get x-rays, but unfortunately the x-rays may not show the fracture. If that's the case, you'll need a CT scan. In most cases, you can see a fracture of the scaphoid on a CT scan. Sometimes you can't, and you need an MRI scan. So once you've made the diagnosis, the treatment options are clear. If it's an acute one, if it's been done within one, one to two days or a few weeks, or even up to three weeks, you can put a screw into it to compress the fracture. You can start moving it. You wear a splint for six weeks and they'll nearly all heal. If you treat them in a splint, the problem is sometimes you simply don't know whether they've healed. And you may be in that splint for up to six months and it may not heal. So it makes sense if it's an acute injury to internally fix it with a screw. This can be done under local anaesthetic or a general anaesthetic as a day case. You come into hospital, leave the same day. Now this is controversial, but internal fixation, in my opinion, in an acute fracture is the best way to manage it. Now what happens if the fracture has been missed and this can be tricky because sometimes you can break it, it may not have healed, then you land on it and you turn up acutely and it's acute on chronic, that is a fracture that's been missed. You can't simply put a screw on that one, it won't heal. But if you miss it and you turn up with pain in your wrist, you've lost bone in your scaphoid, your carpus is not aligned, you need to have surgery to fix that. And what I'm going to share with you is that recently there have been big innovations to make this operation better, to make it work better, to be more effective, to be more reliable. And the first one was vascularized medial bone grafts. And now we're taking bone from the femur and doing microvascular surgery. But what I'd really like to share with you is that in my opinion, the safest, quickest, fastest way to get a good result is arthroscopic bone graft and internal fixation. And if you're interested in that, I direct you to this video site so you can follow it up in more detail.